So a couple weeks ago, I walked into church thinking it was just another normal Sunday and nothing really was going to come of it. But then I was very surprised when Brother Mark started preaching and did exactly what I needed to hear. He was preaching about making decisions with your life for Christ. And I know that when I was younger, I made the decision that I wanted to follow Christ and get baptized, but it was for the wrong reasons and I was very immature about it. Now at the age of 18, I kind of learned more about it and I got to go in there and talk to Mr. Jared, Ms. Tara, and Brother Mark. And I'm very happy I made that decision and I started discipleship with Ms. Tara. When Ellie and I were in the pastor's office and we prayed together, um, that's whenever we decided that, you know, we can't just leave it right here. We have got to follow up. So I looked at Ellie and I said, hey, Ellie, let's meet sometime this week. Okay, how about Wednesday night? And she said that that would be great. And so that gave us an opportunity to follow up for me to support her and to see how things were going just in her life and also um, that we could do some Bible study together and pray with one another. So at that point, we knew that we wanted to take this a little bit further. And so we were happy with the decision to meet on Wednesday. So the day after all this took place, Brother Mark ended up sending me an email with this discipleship training on it and he of course linked me and Ms. Tara to that. From there, it kind of left it up to us to communicate with each other and decide how we were going to go about all this, which of course we texted each other the next day and got it all lined out, which kind of started our schedule that we started last week. Brother Mark gave us a disciple reading plan and in this it allowed us to have an outline of exactly what we were reading per week or per day as we went along. Um, it gave us a daily Bible reading and a journaling. That's something that she and I had never really done was journal, mm -hmm. right? And so that got us involved in that. That was um, sweet. But also daily prayer. And it, it taught us exactly how to pray, starting out with Thanksgiving and, and then leading into prayer requests and, and just the joy of just spending time with God. Something that I thought was really crazy about this whole thing is that the week before I got saved, the book of James is something I actually read. But of course, after I got saved and made my decision, I read it again and it's kind of connected with what we're doing with this plan. And it just made me understand that so much more and allow me to apply it to my life and also grow with somebody like Ms. Tara. I'm so excited to be able to meet with Ellie each week. She and I have decided to meet on Wednesdays. Um, I'm sure that will change a little bit. Maybe we could go for ice cream or something <laughs> one day. But anyway, we're going to focus just on... Um, prayer, Bible study, and fellowship, and just kind of getting to know each other on a closer level. Um, and it doesn't matter, I think, you know, this this curriculum that Brother Mark has given us is fantastic. It would be a great place for any of us to start, but it doesn't matter really what curriculum you're using, as long as you are building relationships with other people. So through this process, I can definitely say that me and Sarah have grown closer than we ever had before. And I don't think it's just something that we've just been doing and doing and not just check off our checklist. It's something that allows us to fellowship together, grow together, and this is our encouragement to you to find somebody in our church you can also do this with. One thing I know for sure is that God never called us to walk this journey alone. Let's do it together. Let's build community. Come on, Baskin Baptist Church. We can do this. We'll do it together because we're better together. <laughs>